Hi there, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rachel Agashan. The channel we inspire, motivate, and encourage. And I know doing that, reduce some sort of lifestyle. Now, in today's video, I'm traveling to Nairobi. Uh, when you're traveling to Nairobi, Kenya, you're most likely, if you use bus, you would want to use Mashpo, Mashko. Yeah, the offices. The offices are opposite um, National Theatre. When I traveled, um, the fare was uh, 125 for normal, normal, hmm? like normal, normal class, and then the VIP is 135,000 Ugandan shillings. Yeah. So normally the bus sets off at um, 4:30. Yeah, those guys prefer to travel in the night because in the night you can sleep, you can rest, you know. You don't have to be really tired like when you travel in the day. These guys provide water, you know. They provide water for their customers. So, yeah. Now, the one thing I can actually say is the seats are really, really, really comfortable. I wanted a VIP, but there are like five or four or six seats. I don't even know. But they're really few, so by the time I went to book, uh, the VIP seats were done. But the other seats are equally nice. Yeah. So we traveled and everything was okay, really. Um, we're in Mukono by 5.30. Yeah, so the bus was really... I don't know if the, bu the bus wasn't actually fast. But there's no jump, so the road was really clear. Yeah. So we went. Now, as you're traveling to Nairobi, you want to have your national ID or your passport. Hmm? All I can say is um, they'll ask for your certificate, your COVID certificate. Now, you see, some of us were told to vaccinate and were saying, no, Bazungu want to kill us, what, what, what. I promise you, you're not going to be able to travel if you do not have a covid vaccine certificate not the card the certificate now what happens is the certificate is gotten from the ministry of health portal now unless you are vaccinated or you know people who work in the ministry of health and they can get you this certificate it might be hard because when you log into the um, ministry of health portal automatically if you did your vaccination your details your everything will show in their system and then you can print out your certi your certificate let no one tell you i can do it for you you can do it yourself actually yeah so when you get to the um, border you ask for your passport or your national id since you are ugandan i'm in mean the east african community yeah so you will have to provide your your passport or your national id then your covid vaccine yellow fever you know those are the things that they check for also i would advise that if you have ugandan money and you intend to use you're going to kenya definitely kenya unlike uganda they do not have all these before experience lined up everywhere at you know you can change here you can change that no for them they strictly have Kenyan money because, I mean, what are we going to use Ugandan money for? So I would advise that those guys at the border who change the money should be the guys that you use to change your money because 
the rates their rates are actually way better than our rates in i mean better than the rates in nairobi so if you or in kenya so if you change from the border you're actually in a better place yeah so of course you go through customs and then you proceed like we did yeah so i'll just be showing you briefly uh how my journey was it was a beautiful experience i had a good time in kenya i have very many other videos to show you so you guys sit back and enjoy the video in case of any questions let me know in the comment section and i'll answer whatever i can whatever i can't i have a kenyan people to do the answering for me yeah so thank you for watching this video i hope you loved it please leave a like for the video yeah uh, comment and subscribe to the channel thank you and i will see you in our next video bye